Hey, Tranger374 coming to you from the Bass Cave. Hope everybody had a good holiday weekend. Um, got Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Not from the 4th of July sale. Got it before the 4th of July. I sound bad. I've been sick for about a week, so hang in there. Can't shake this summer cold or whatever it is. But hope everybody had a good, safe holiday weekend. Um, you know how crazy it is. It's been hot up here in the Northeast, but can't complain because guys that watch out in Texas, they've had it pretty bad, so um, not complaining. But anyway, I got some stuff from Tackle Warehouse, like I said, but some of it from eBay also. Um, just been buying stuff from everywhere. Nowhere in particular. Don't have no crazy stuff, but... I got a box full. I ain't going to go through it all, but some of it, you know, it's just repetitious. But the one thing I did get, and Joseph, I hope you're watching out there, I got these new Berkeley Swamp Lord Frogs. These things are unbelievable. They come with an open patch. It's like right in the middle here where you can press on the frog. First thing I did was do that. This frog is incredibly soft, like crazy soft. Nothing but good reviews on this, so I got about a half dozen of them. Uh, popping ones, this one's a popping one. It's in, uh, they call it Voodoo Black. Got two, one in the popping, one in the regular frog. Pretty nice frogs. Get to check them out this weekend. Got a club. Derby up on the Chesapeake Bay, so a lot of grass. Get to check them out. Can't wait. Um, got some different colors. This one's uh, this one's a copperhead. It's black with just some other stuff in it. But crazy man, these frogs, they are absolutely very soft. Another popping one in Potomac black with some blue in it and I think the belly on it's actually like a blue. Yeah, can't see it probably. My lighting's probably terrible right now. It's about 90 degrees upstairs where I'm at because central just doesn't kick in and up around here. Um, Maverick, just a straight black one. Now I got some bone, bone color. They don't have like a pure white, so they only have a bone. So I got the bone. Check them out. A couple more. I think I got some more in the bottom here, but you're going to get the idea. I got the bone in the popper. And let me see. Potomac I got in the regular one. Got that in the popper and the regular. So got a bunch of frogs. Got some other ones in here. Let me dig through. These ones. Yeah, I shopped the clearance aisle, so I found these ones in the clearance. They are by Kalins, called like the Google Eye Frog or something. Got an eye in there. You know, I said, I ain't gonna take them out. It's just got a black one and a white one. They're really cheap. I don't know how good they are, but they got eyes that shake around like you know them old crazy dolls when you were a kid. Got the Google Eye. If you can see it. Hope the glare ain't too bad, but it's going to happen. Anyway, I got bought some from Beast Coast for a chatterbait trailer. It's like the Berkeley Stinger, but it's just a fish type looking thing. Got it in black blue. Basically, they're in black blue all the time. It's called the Blade Runner, four inch, 4.15 inch. Should be good on the back of the chatterbait. And you get a cool free sticker if you bought one thing. So, it's the only thing I got from Beast Coast. But, got a free sticker. So, all good. And, TW stuff. I got 
the gravel dog. Doc, I know you're out there watching. He never comments or probably doesn't even give me a thumbs up, but I fish with him a couple times a year. Got the gravel dog. Got it in three different colors. One of them's uh, bone crawl. Really cool color. I like this one. And this one's like tequila sunrise, but they call it a demon crawl. Looks like tequila sunrise to me. And this is just a regular crawfish looking one. It's called brown gourd. It's a pretty nice one. Anyhow. Uh, this one this one came off of eBay from this one is a JDM, but I think it actually I can read the name of it, which I can't understand. Ritachi Fire Pink. It is a another Cavacho Jackal Frog Pink. You had to see that one on top of the water, but most of it's in Japanese, but could read the name on it and it came straight from Japan but um, that got another got another swamp lord in there this one's called burnt bone it's kind of like a bone bottom with a with a black top crackle top on it pretty cool color mm. these things these were new and I, I didn't see them. I got these off eBay but I had never seen these from Snag Proof. They are called the Zoo Series. And one's called one's called a Zoo Dog. The other's called a Zoo Pop. Got these. They're they're like soft. Uh, they remind me of man's. I can't remember what it was called. It was either called a a shadow or something like that back or the ghost. That's what it was called. It was called a ghost. It's like a it's like a soft spook. This one's just a popper, but it's soft too. I got I got a black one and that one also. Try to go through these. They're pretty cool. I'm gonna try them out this weekend too over the grass. And I got these are in baby duck. I got some zoom frogs to drag across the top. Put a hook in them and Drag. They're like the rivet frog, except they're zoom. They're actually not easy to get. They're not really cheap, but oh well. Um, got this one too. I don't know if I got this one just for display. It's a king daddy frog from Spro. You'll be able to see this one for sure, but I'll give this one a try over, over the big grass mats. It's in the flamingo color. That's a big frog. I don't know if you've ever seen the King Daddy, but that thing is huge. These two, looked at these for a couple years and didn't buy them till, till I got them. Got a deal off of them on, on eBay. They're the Hellraisers from Z-Man. Got a black one and a white one. I'll give them a try. Seen Debo fishing these and said, you know what? If you can catch fish on them. I can catch fish on them, but give it a shot. The Hellraiser has a crazy action. I'll give it that one. So I'm going to give them a try. The other thing I got, I got this Booyah Super Shad Spinnerbait. Got it cheap, so it's got like four blades on it. Resemble a little, little bait fish school. Pretty cool. Then I got some got some swim baits we got one one from Berkeley it's called the call shad six inch really nice bait and it's got the bottom hook on it it's got a bottom treble nice bait give that one a shot probably on a Potomac this year I got two others that are top hook now these I seen they seem to be pretty good Everybody says they're good. From Bass Mafia, the dangerous swim bait. These are six inch and they're like 1.6 ounces, so it ain't very light. But give them a shot. Two decent colors. Give these swim baits a try here, pretty soon. 
these ones. Nah, I did get one other thing from Beast Coast. I forgot I got a swim jig. This one's the the Gorilla Swim Jig in Dope Gill. Can't really say it's like a bluegill color. No biggie, but got that. Got some other swim jigs from Booyah, the mobster jigs. Black blue, like a perch one. Pretty cool. Nice ones. And also at TW I got the accent spinner bait. The 3 8 purple crush. The compact spinner bait. The Baitman recommended the little compact one. And that's his color. But I'm going to give that one a shot around some grass. See what happens. Should work out pretty good. Now Bill Lewis had, I don't know if these been out for a while. I've been fishing Bill Lewis ever since probably the 80s. Early 80s maybe. An old rattle trap. But these are called the hammer trap. And I had never seen them. So I saw them advertised. And they're supposed to be good. This one's half out. Pull this one out. Blue chrome hammer trap. Give that a shot. A little bit different than the other ones, but I'll give it a shot. What the heck. Got a gold and a blue chrome. That's about all I need. And then I got from Big Bite Baits. I just came off tournament on Conowingo Reservoir. Probably caught 25 small mouths, something like that. Weighed my limit, which was small. You know, didn't place, but at least I weighed a limit. And I used these. These big bite baits. Shaky head type deal. Ned rig. Whatever you want to call it. But extra wide gap. Weedless. Burned them. Now this ain't... I ran out of those actually, so I had to go with go with a regular shaky head, but that's the exact worm I used. Canada Crawl, Z-Man, Big TRD. Blasting them just all day, all day, all day on that worm. This was a perfection lures shaky head, but the two little barbs broke off at the bottom because I kept getting stuck in rocks. And uh, just burned them on that color all day. It's the same one. All I did was cut it off. But these hooks... Awesome. Pegged every one of them in top of the mouth. Highly recommend them. A couple different sizes. And uh, can't say can't say nothing but good things about them hooks. So this other thing, I got this off eBay. If I didn't work, I'd come up with this idea just like Doc said. It's got a paddle tail swim bait instead of a spinning blade for a spinner bait. You know. We should have all thought about this. This is from Sims Tackle. If you can read their name on it, but that's all it is. They replaced a, a four inch swim bait instead of a spinning blade. Give that one a shot too. See how it works out. But that's about the most I got from this one. Um, probably won't be a whole bunch more lures. I mean, you know. I'm pretty much burnt out on everything. Unless I restock on some I you know, lose lose in the next two months. But anyhow, hope you all got out doing good. Stay safe. Um, hope you had a good holiday weekend, like I said before. And uh, I acquired a tackle box from my pop who passed away a couple years ago. And I think it was sitting in his basement for over 40 years. So I cleaned it up clean the lures up that were in it. I think I'm going to make a video out of it to show you what he used to use 40 years ago. Uh, a little surprising, but some of it kind of stays the same. Anyhow, it's Ranger 374, and I'm out.